Hey, welcome back. Today I'm diving into something that's becoming quite popular and it could also become one of the most important shifts in how AI agents are built. It's called the Model Context Protocol. You've probably heard of it by now. And if you're someone who builds AI agents actively, you need to know how it works. Think of MTP as a new and easy way to connect AI to the real world. Until now, AI systems, if you don't give them enough context by including tools, they can't access real world information outside of what they're being trained for. To actually get them to do something useful, we have to kind of glue tools to the AI to give it context via API calls. And if you have very complicated systems, this can be pretty messy. So what is it? MCP, short for Model Context Protocol, is an open standard created by Anthropic, the company behind Claude, for AI or LLMs to connect with the outside world. Tools, document, and business processes all through a universal interface. So up until this point, how it works is basically you have the LLM. If you don't give it any context or any outside world information via tools, it just knows what to do based on what it has been trained for. And that's not very useful for most businesses and for most use cases. Now to connect it to most tools out there, you have to use API calls. To connect it, for instance, to your calendar, to your CRM, or any other tool that you want to, uh, the LLM to have access to, you have to First, include that in the prompting and then also connect it to a tool via API. That could be a hassle if you have multiple tools you have to access to and if your system is very, very complex and very big. So it's fragile, it's time consuming building these tools and it also don't, doesn't scale very well. Now what MCP does, it works as a, as a client server architecture, but that's a bit, a bit more technical. But essentially what it does is act as a middleman between the tools that you have and the LLM. So essentially the LLM is going to have the context on one on what to do and when to call the tools via this interface that is called the MCP. So the key takeaway would be that now the LLM using MCP architecture doesn't just wait for a context. It knows how to get it and when it needs it. So now I'll explain you the basic architecture of the model context protocol. This is actually a diagram that they included in the official documentation on Tropic. It looks a bit complex at the beginning, but let me break it down to you. So first, when we work with MCP, we're working with a client server setup. And your left side, you have the AI assistant in this case, like Claude. And it is running inside an app or environment with Claude desktop and IDE, or even a tool that you built yourself. That's basically your LLM. This LLM is connected via MCP protocol to multiple servers that are connected to other data sources, which could be your tools. So in this example, MCP server A is connected to a local data source A, which is maybe your calendar that is stored locally or a CSV with contacts, whatever. Here, MCP server B would be connected to local data source B. And this could be maybe your CRM database running on your machine or whatever that is locally stored. And in this example, MCP server C is a slightly different because it acts as a bridge to external web APIs. So it can access cloud-based tools or platforms like Stripe, HubSpot, or Notion. So you can see here that example as well. But the key or uh, the key to understand all of this is that all of these servers follow the MCP protocol. So the client and by extension, the model knows how to interact with them in a standardized way without you having to explicitly say what tool to access. So to put it all together, what happens when Claude or your LLM or your agent wants to use a tool? The model sees the list of tools that are exposed by the client. It decides it needs to use one, say the calendar, for, for instance. The request goes from the client to the MCP server and then to the actual calendar service. And in the end, the server gets the data and sends it back up the chain to Claude or your LLM or your agent. So this architecture is clean, is modular, and most importantly, it is standardized. And that's what makes MCP so exciting for developers and AI builders. So with API call right now, you fetch data from CRMs, databases, etc., and you have to modify that data and then plug it into the AI or LLM as context. But the model doesn't know about tools. You have to manually orchestrate that and inject that into the prompt. And it is fragile and it doesn't scale very well. Now with MCP, which is the new protocol, you, have, you can register the tools with the client, describe what they do, and the model can reason when to use those tools, that's, that's the important part, which then uh, makes it more robust and a bit more scalable. Now, let me give you a real life use case. So let's say you're working with a, a client that has a customer portal and they want an AI assistant or chat-based agent, for instance, that can answer billing questions from their clients. So without MCP, which is the traditional setup, the user, let's say it says, what's my current balance? If When the user says that, you have to manually call the billing API 
clean the data format it properly inject it into the prompt and then the model is going to respond based on that injected context but the important part is that it don't it has no awareness of where the data came from or how to get it again so if the api changes or the prompt uh, format breaks the whole setup falls apart now with mcp this billing system would be exposed as an MCP server. The MCP client then registers that tool and shares it with the model. And now the model knows this tool exists, what it does and when to use it. So when the user says, what's my current balance? The LLM is gonna to decide to call the billing server automatically. The server is gonna return that structured data and the LLM is gonna use it in real time and reply with that information. This is of course a very simple example, but let's say that instead of having to access one API, you have to access multiple APIs for the same tool. With the traditional setup, you would have to connect to each API see how the logic would work to get access to that data and then feed that to the AI. But with MCP, you have just the billing system exposed as an MCP server and let the MCP server handle the logic. So you might be wondering, what does this mean for people that are building AI agents right now? Is everything going to change? What I would say to that question is that MCP is still really early, but it's showing a lot of promise. So if you know how to code, because right now the only way to build kind of these things is via direct code, you can get started with today's Rhythm Tropics SDKs in Python, JavaScript, Go, Rust, and more. There are also pre-built servers that you can use out of the box so you don't have to build everything from scratch and if you're non-technical now is a still great time to understand what's coming tools like cloud desktop already support mcp and we will likely see more platforms adopted soon i think sapir is already building something and make as well so what are the pros of mcp the first one is would be a standardization so you don't need to reinvent the wheel for every tool that you use for eight for your agent if it speaks mcp quote unquote it would work. Reusability, you would build an MCP server once and we use it across multiple clients, products or agents. This will accelerate uh, integration for and, and development of AI agents. And finally, the agents that are built using MCP could be more scalable as you just exposed one server, one MCP server to access multiple tools. And that, uh, as I said, accelerates the agent creation process. Now the cons, first it is still very early, so is, it is not as plug and play as it could be. It requires dev skills as it stands right now, and you will likely need to build or customize your own servers. There are not many public case studies yet, so you're ahead of the curve, which is cool right now, but there is some risk associated with this. And finally, there is no guarantee that it becomes a standard protocol because OpenAI or others might release competing protocols to this one. Even though I think OpenAI is adopting this one, it is not sure that other providers would try to compete with this one. But for now, MCP is one of the most promising and open frameworks we have to give models secure dynamic access to tools and data. Finally, I wanted to show you that if you go to the documentation provided by Anthropic on MCP, you have the whole documentation on how to build your own MCP servers and deploy them for your own use case. And if you dig deeper, you will find a GitHub repository where they have a list of all the reference servers and third-party servers that are available to this day. So you can see here that there are a whole bunch of servers that you can use for your different use cases and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just connect to these servers and use them as you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these. So for instance, Stripe. And if you scroll down in the readme section, you will find the supported API methods. So if you connect your agent to this MCP server, you will be able to do all of these actions inside your agent without having to connect to every specific endpoint separately. And you won't need to worry about the API changing and then your whole system breaking down. Instead, you just connect to the MCP server and your agent has access to all of these methods instantly. And that's it. This was your beginner friendly guide to MCP and see you in the next one.